Hello, welcome to the Red Men TV. I'm joined in the studio ahead of Liverpool versus Man United by some very special guests. Yes, it is Dave, it is Akeem, it is Joel, Cheeky Sports. Come on! Yeah. <laughs> RIT headphone users. Um, guys, I mean, uh, Joel, we're going to try to keep you involved in this as possible as, as an Arsenal fan. You've, you've made a significant number of appearances on Red Men this, this yeah, season. Yeah, I was doing I was, that. Well, I was supporting Liverpool when I appeared on Red Men TV, just helping out. You know, just in case you guys needed me, but I don't think you do at the moment. I don't know if anyone yeah, I think, wants I think, to Arsenal, I think Arsenal need all the help they can get at the moment. But I think you're like the third favourite presenter on the YouTube channel, our YouTube I, channel, to be fair. I, like I, you mean. I, I hope so, man. We'll see you guys soon again. Right now, I, I have not much to say to you. <laughs> um, the lads, however, are Man United fans, so let's get stuck into it. We've done an amazing preview uh, over on Cheeky's channel, so go over and watch that. It was probably about half an hour long, oh, ama yeah. amazing <laughs> stuff. Yeah. And some things I want to I want to talk to you about, though, because we've done a, 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 a pretty good preview in that regard. But we just started on a conversation, we were looking at the picture of Robbie Fowler doing the, the Stiff and the White Lights celebration <laughs> and saying how... <laughs> my, you know what the issue I have with, the, with this game is that it's, a, it's, a, it's massive mm -hmm. because it's always massive. Yeah. Because Liverpool Man United is what it is. You know what this game is missing? I don't, I don't hate enough of your players. Mm. Yeah, and I don't like, I don't like any of your players per but, se. But you don't have a hate. Yeah, mm. and and I wonder whether that's just something in this game because like Pogba should be it. But I, I was thinking about this like Pogba's all he's just all haircuts and hashtags for me. Like yeah. I don't, I don't, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no, but if he if he, if he was like I, I hated I hated Eric Cantona. Yeah, and he was because he was just a phenomenal talent, and there was a, there was an edge of jealousy to it. And I don't know whether that's because both of the clubs have fallen a little bit in recent years, or just because football's becoming a bit more bland. Yeah, I, I, th I think it's been a little bit like you know the rivalry's kind of lost from the player perspective, player v player, because a lot of the players who was who grew up around that period when it was a real hatred is gone. You know, obviously some of the last ones were like Gary Neville. Mm. You saw the way he celebrated when he scored. Gerard, when he when he when he scored against Man United, he would celebrate more mm. than any yeah. other yeah. celebration. You know, yeah. but now it's kind of like, you know, this game to the players may not even Those have that understanding. That was one of the good things about when Alex Ferguson was at Man United. He would probably instill that this game is so Well, he yeah. set it up, didn't he? Yeah. I mean, the, the Man United's yeah. whole ethos under him was to knock Liverpool off, off the, the fucking pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's there's something for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that, but that, and, and I wonder whether it, it, maybe that's in, in reaching that objective, yeah. I don't know, and that obviously losing Ferguson and that's lost a little bit of you know, that. You know what it is as well? I think, it's, I think it's commercially. I think it's when it, players have now become such commercial assets, they can't, um, they can't show a lot of personality and because of that like the game loses its edge so although some players might understand the rivalry to a certain degree they they can't show any real passion or any real desire yeah. in yeah, it man. because it, they might lose their sponsorship contract you, you touched on Pogba yeah. a second ago yeah. obviously he's, he's the face of Adidas he's the face of Adidas Predator globally yeah. and that's a, that's a major deal so the way in which he can't behave the way in which some of our old players yeah. who didn't really was you know so, you know these days commercial deals can be more than than player contracts. Yeah, no. So, absolutely. but do you think even beyond commercial contracts, it's also a fact that the game you know even beyond VAR, but like the game has now become so it's almost like anything you can get booked for. Obviously, twenty years ago you could throw off your shirt, but even now. Even if you celebrate in front of away fans, you get booked. Yeah, yeah. no, it's I don't, crazy. I don't, yeah, yeah. I, think, I mean that's, I think that's, I think that's definitely, I think uh, that's definitely aided in 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 getting rid of the stifling rivalry well, and having have players to think about, yeah, think about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a great example of that. Yeah. Like that now, like you have to stop and just check everything's okay. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, you have to <laughs> mentally run through your checklist. I love the AR. What's he from saying? I love the AR. I was saying to the boys this I love the AR. The excitement it brings to the game. I was with you when I told you yesterday, but yeah. you know why? The excitement <laughs> to the game. The excitement to the game. Honestly, I can't wait to have it in the World he, Cup. He, you he, know he what likes mean? it because he likes it because it gives a bit of like EastEnders. Yeah, you know I mean an EastEnders world. But like, what's gonna happen? Yeah, he's like, honestly, he's sitting there. He's sitting in the stadium. Like, what's happening? You know, what's happening? Let's get the next. Hey, guy calls he for it. He does this, and we're waiting. It's like, oh man, I love it. You know what? It's it's funny because loads of people thought that our VAR is gonna take away the controversy from the game. It's brought in more controversy than yeah. than, than, than controversy. Else. <laughs> get, back, get back the game then. Just on the, of the Liverpool team, what are your thoughts? Is there any players out there? You know, not just like you, you think. Oh, he's a good player, but are there any players that you're like? I don't. You know, I can't stand the sight of him. Or, um, or anything I think like that? I think Jordan Henderson is one of those players. <laughs> to be honest, Jordan Henderson is one of those players because I know he's one of those players who would be 
extra extra gassed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have, you have to think about it. Who, who's out here thinking? Yeah, yeah. I, I hate Man United. Man United. It's, it's, him. Him. it's him. It's him. It's him. Exactly. It's him. It's him. Yeah. It's him. Yeah. It might be a bit of Lallana in there as well. Still, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Lallana. And they hang out a lot as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about what about you? And I was also thinking about Lucas as well. He's going to be somewhere tweeting. He's gone. And like he, it's going to be. That's what that's what he tweeted when we went out of the Carabao Cup. I like it. Sure it just, well, I'll I'll you it. Yeah. No, yeah. you're lucky. I'm honest. I'm honest. And Diddy man was like, hey, mate, we, we went out around before them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I had to try that, though, to be fair. Like, um, no, I, I, in your team, though, no, it's, it's tough because Lukaku will get stick yeah, for, for, the, for, yeah, for the Blue yeah. Nose connection. Sanchez, to some extent, just because there's a degree to which having a lad move on and be on that much money and all that kind of stuff and him being the sign and you want him to you want him to fail because you just do, don't you? Yeah. There's, a, there's a perverse thrill in watching someone who's meant to be <laughs> boss be shit at football. Yeah. Um Pogba again, similar to that, I would yeah. like to see Pogba, you know, Pogba takes a mad shot on from distance and he and he spoons it out for You're the throwing. Be gassed. <laughs> ah, you know, yeah, that, I mean. that kind of stuff, but it's it's tough. There's no one. There is. There's no one that I hate as much as I hated Gary Neville or, yeah. or Giggs. Or, Gary Neville or celebration. I never forget. And then he was like kissing the brand in front I, it's, of. It's true. Okay, we did some stuff with with, with Neville before the, the last game, and it was very hard oh, for me yeah. to oh, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Live yeah, yeah, yeah. on TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was very difficult for me to like. Taught, I was like, because yeah. I, I, you know, I, just, I, I hate I, you. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, just, just a little bit on the on the game. Then look, I just think it's gonna go. We look, we did a lot. You, you got a little bit. I was say salty when I talked about you know the defensive qualities of your, of your manager. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think? Look, is that me being? Am I being over the top? And that? Do, you, do you think Mourinho will will have a go? He's not gonna listen. Mourinho's not stupid. Like he's not. He's not. He's not dumb. He's not gonna come and just be like, I right, listen. Let's just. Let's just go. Let's go for it, toe to toe. He ain't gonna do Eddie Howe because that's what Eddie Howe does. He's like, "Hey, freaking heck, yeah. we're, we're, near we enough, we're, near, we're near enough safe." So you know exactly. what? Let's just, let's just go. Let's just do it. Eddie's but, trying to be a legend, mate. He's just but, all out, going out, all out for it, mate. But Mourinho's quite. He's much more pragmatic. He's a he's a realist. That's what he is. He's not he's not an optimist or a pessimist. He's a realist. He looks at it and thinks these men are sick in their attack. So we have to deal with that mm-hmm. first, mm-hmm. and then we have to look at how we can then. You know, expose expose yeah. their defensive frailties um, that other teams haven't been able to do, and I think that's the way in which he's going to approach the game. I think the game's going to either be very low scoring or very high scoring. It's not going to be like one of the middle and midway kind of kind of games. I, I think, for, I, mean, for, I think from his side, he's probably going to look to protect, you know, Smalling and Jones as much as possible because. Those two, especially against Liverpool, are always don't, exposed. Don't, don't, don't play Smalling. They always, oh, always do. Lord, 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 no. Lord, Lord, no. I think Smalling and Jones have been set off against you for the last couple of years. Lord, no. Please, not Smalling. Smalling done like a 30 minute. Get Bailly on the pitch. Cameo, he got sent off after 30 minutes. Get Bailly on the pitch. The funny thing is, Bailly is also one of them players that I feel like can. He's somebody I think eventually, yeah, if he stays at United for long enough, he's going to be a player that Liverpool are going to hate yeah. because he's somebody. Who's yeah, a bit, yeah, he has a bit. Of he's got a bit of sign. He's got a bit of sign in him. He's a bit rough. Do you see what I'm saying to that regard? And I think I think he's one of them players that will get into the the spirit of the game from that from that perspective. What about um, Klopp? You're talking about people that you know. What I mean, people that you look to and you go, ah, I kind of dislike. Do you look at Klopp and think? What do you feel like when you yeah, see Klopp? Yeah, well, he doesn't. He doesn't he, now, I'll be honest. He, he rates him. Now, I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I like, I, if Klopp wasn't a Liverpool manager, I would like him. Yeah. To, yeah, even yeah, more. Yeah, I would, yeah. I would. I wouldn't want him to manage Man United, though, because and he won't ever manage Man United now, no, yeah. because, of, because you're, he's at this team. But, <laughs> yeah. But, That's Akeem. Ladies and gentlemen, Akeem. <laughs> but, but, Akeem. But, but I do like him. Yeah. I like I like the way he shows passion. I love the way yeah. he shows energy. He, he gets something out of his players as well. I think I think the players love him, and I think, yeah. and not only the players love him, but you lot love him. Like the fans, yeah. like it's it's one of them things where like we like we go to stadiums up and down the country and banter fans. You know what I mean about all sorts. And even when you guys were losing games and stuff like that, yeah. You wouldn't get a bad word about nah, Klopp. No, it wasn't Klopp. It was everybody else's fault Klopp. Klopp. Yeah, it would never be And Klopp. I reckon because of that, that's given the support. Now he looks like... It's funny, every, time, they, every time Liverpool score, they always pad the, the, the picture to Klopp. The, the Klopp. Yeah, because, because that's what sells. Klopp's pure goals. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's got great canines as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The funniest yeah. one, the yeah. one, yeah. one yeah. I think when he scored the last minute, and it, I think oh, he broke his glasses. Oh, yeah, but yeah, there was no chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just got smashed. He got smashed. It's a bit like, yeah, it's fantastic. No, I... That's the thing about Klopp is that he's he's, he's lovable, isn't he? Yeah. Mourinho on the other hand, it's weird because I have a grudge and respect for Jose Mourinho, but now that he's managed Man United, that's 
Liverpool, you know, like I can't. <laughs> yeah. But he's he is he's he is what we're talking about. He's the only one I think in that Man United setup who we hate, and he's got the pantomime villain yeah. thing yeah, through. Yeah. You, look, you know what you do, but he you is. need a bit of that in football. There needs to be a bit of boo. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? You need, to have, you need to get that going. There can't be too much mutual respect in, the, yeah. in, mm-hmm. in, in those kind yeah. of games, and we yeah. do. You want to you want to see Mourinho sullen and slumped down in his chair. That's why you yeah. go out there on the pitch to make it happen. Because <laughs> you want it, you want it, he's not going to cry. Um, but but you, I want to see him see cry, him. you know what I mean? I, I want to see him, I want to, you know, he fell over it, didn't he, against Crystal Palace? I'd love to see that again. That was, that was great. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, anything like that. He's the, I, I do, I, 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 I football hate him. I'm sure, I'm sure he'd be fascinating to speak to in real life as a real person. Sure. But I, in, in football, I hate Jose Mourinho. And mm. so that, that's, that gives us a little bit of, a little bit but, of impetus. Well, what would you say is like, when you look at the actual game and the players, because I've won from your perspective as a Liverpool fan, who is it when Man United, when Man United has the ball and they pass to him, you're like, whoa, whoa, and you're kind of scared. Like, who, who, fe- who do you fear in the Man United team? Um, oh, Christ. Don't take too long. <laughs> um, <laughs> Akeem. Um, Valencia? Oh, yeah, real. really? I like Valencia. Like, so I when he gets the ball, you're like, uh, you're, you're a bit... Uh, you know, because I expected, I've expected him to be terrible for years because you don't go from being <laughs> Wigan's right winger to being Man United's <laughs> right back yeah. and be dead good. We, 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 we call him, he does the um, triple circle cross. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> on and low, on and low, on and low. Ankle breakers, ankle breakers. <laughs> the ankle breakers. If he hits anyone, it's going in. Yeah. No, look, again... Paul Pogba, look, if he plays and he plays to the best of his ability, he's 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 phenomenal, isn't he? Like I, mm-hmm. I, I hate to say it, but when you watch him and you try to take your, the Liverpool tinted glasses off, you know what I mean, and you watch him play his football, <laughs> he is very, it's very hard to do, by the way. I have a pair that's anti-Man United welded to my face. Yeah. Um, so it, you know, he, he's great, and if he, if he turns up, then he, he, he causes a problem. Lukaku can cause problems because he don't score that many goals for that many years without being a threat. And similarly, Sanchez. Not Man United Sanchez, mm. but Arsenal Sanchez, certainly. You know, look at how, no, mate, remember it well. Um, do you uh, remember <laughs> the glory days? The fist pump in that. How many, the, how many games you won since you lost him? Alexis one. Sanchez. How many games have you won since you lost him? One or two. You lost that. We won one or two games since you lost him. Oh, guys, this is, a, this is a Man United versus <laughs> Liverpool preview, guys. We're not here to talk about it. This is, oh, we're we're not here. In a few weeks, you know what I mean? We play Liverpool, we'll talk about it then. <laughs> but the, but the, 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 that Sanchez who, you know, the, the end of games and you needed to get a result, give the ball to Sanchez, corner of the box, and you knew he could make something happen. Yeah. So I, I, even though Sanchez has not been in great form, we had a bit of a laugh about it over on your channel and what have you, but I, I, will, I will fear that. If we're clinging on to a result it, with five minutes to go and Sanchez, El Pogba or Lukaku pick the ball up around our box, I will, I, I will be nervous and I'll be edgy naturally. Yeah, I think, for, I think for us and for any Manchester United fan, your, your, your front three, especially... Uh, Mane and Mr. Salah, mm-hmm. they, they, they for us probably, well, not probably, definitely who we're mm-hmm. fearing with the ball, to be honest with you, mm-hmm. especially thinking about one of them running at that, 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 that smalling. What do we think? For me, that is... Yeah, for sure. That's a, that's a, but, I, I, just see, I just see a red card, mate. I just, uh, it yeah, hurts. Yeah, you get yeah, what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I've been saying it for a long time. I'm like, listen, Smalling's hugging players too much. Yeah. He likes yeah. to hug, likes to hug man in the box. Can you do a simulation of what he's doing? Go and do the quick jump into the but but you know having said that you know having said, this is where you know i want man united to have a little bit of game management yeah and sometimes we've got to take a few yellows then you're going to do a few quick breaks yeah take the yellow yeah yeah, yeah. and this is where we need Important. matic take these uh, these yellows there's nothing more annoying than when you know when when players so don't know how to take that exactly listen get, get, listen take it mate we've got three subs right we mm. can we can make a couple changes here and there exactly I Amazing. think you have to do that. Well, what do you think the score is going to be, Dave? <sighs> I'm going. Oh. Hmm. I'm going with a Man United two-one win or a three-two win. Okay. Cool. Okay. A few goals in the game, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I don't because I I can't sit here and think Liverpool are not going to score. Mm. It's very it's very very tough for me to to sit here and say, man, although they didn't score against Porto. You know what I mean? So, they didn't you know need I mean? to, though, really. You're going to say by choice. You're going to say by choice. No, he's not going to say by choice. They just didn't score against no, Porto. I mean, that's it. Yeah. Whether they needed to or not, they didn't. That's the, that's the fact. They didn't score against yeah, Porto. So, it, it can happen that they don't score. But mm-hmm. it's very unlikely that they're not going to score. That might be a 
cheeky, nice little cheeky bet. But, but yeah, yeah. excuse the plug there. But, yeah. Yeah. but um, the truth of the matter is, <laughs> it's one of them things where I, I can't see them not scoring, so I have mm. to give them some goals okay. on the board there. For, Score. I'm going to say 1-1 one, one or 2-1. Um, I think pretty much if it gets to a point when we're drawing after like 70 minutes, we're just going to shut, shut the door. We're going to bring, you know, stagecoach Riva. <laughs> you call it? We're going to bring him. We're going to bring him in. That's it. We're going to we're going to shut up shop, and that's it. Mourinho will happily take that. Joel, I'm going to say, I'm going to say that uh, Arsenal will be AC what? Milan. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon we'll do it at the Emirates. You mark my words. Shoes on, Berini, mate. So uh, Danny Welbeck to fill in what, for Danny. Oh, oh God. Yeah. He's in the shack and we got me. <laughs> Everybody else is, you know, not not eligible or injured. So uh, how did that, yeah, work, how how did that <laughs> work out? You know. Ah, oh, mate, it happens in the transfer window, isn't it? But, mm, but yeah. Man United, Liverpool. Man United, Liverpool. You know what? I think it's a draw, to be honest with you. And I reckon, I reckon, because I don't think Jose is going to go out there wanting to lose the game because he doesn't need to win because Man United are, are above him at the current that moment. A, and that was a bit of Michael Owen there, you know. I don't think Joe's going to go out there wanting to lose the game. Nobody, we nobody, don't, nobody. We don't, we don't, don't talk about the team scores more goals yeah, yeah, than yeah, yeah. the team yeah, yeah. Yeah. For the team. Yeah, yeah. 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 score a goal. That's, That's, right. Right. That's why we bring it in. Um, fantastic, lads. Absolute pleasure. Listen, we've done another preview. Much more depth and detail. Talking loads more about the game. Some some, some interesting stuff about Joe Mourinho and how he, how he sets his team up. Um, go over to Cheeky Sport. Drop a subscribe on the channel. Get on the boys on Twitter. On, on everything. You, you need to follow you. you need Cheeky sports in your life. Hey, listen, we're Be not a Man United fan channel as well, so oh, yeah, 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 don't worry yeah, about yeah. that. We're not, we're not a Man United fan channel. All teams, all teams, even Liverpool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. thanks very much for watching. Subscribe to Reb and drop a like on the video if you enjoyed having the lads in the studio. And we'll see you all soon. Ta-da.